Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Capricorn in love, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate with every Capricorn watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below. And um, time is fluid. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. We have the Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. So that looks like you have a renewal in love or you have new love coming in. I don't see so much as new love. I think this is a renewal in love. We'll see as we open the cards, all right? The Ace of Cups is loving yourself, self-care, self-love, or uh, you're just in love with, uh, with someone a lot, okay? But the Five of Wands here, either you're wanting to fight for this relationship or you guys love each other but there are too many people involved between you guys or there is just too much drama every single time you guys want to be together okay either or okay you want to rush in your biggest challenge is that you want to you need to rush in and communicate okay or this is what's influencing the situation you're super passionate about this person super passionate about this person okay and this person is rushing in, but what is your challenge is to communicate. Maybe you're not communicating with this person, but I think you're very passionate about this person, okay? But the only problem is that there's too much drama between you guys, okay? So there's love, there's passion, and there's drama. I like that. I like that. Okay, you're walking away from this situation. Maybe again, because there's too much drama. Okay. You could be walking away from this person. I'm not seeing that so much, but I think you're trying to walk away from a situation that does not serve you, that does not make you happy, okay? Because that's on your mind. There is a sense of insatisfaction that I'm getting here, okay? You want this love, you want this renewal, but maybe the night of what? So I think it's the passion that's missing, okay? Someone needs to rush in, and maybe you guys are just not on the same page right now. So I'm getting the communication, the action, the passion is missing okay and again with the ace here again if this is new love it's brand new okay you gotta give it time but if this is a renewal in love right so things are just picking up okay and you could have walked away from this relationship your challenge is to you want this renewal you want this but the challenge is to get over that conflict to get over the five of wands okay to get on the same page the challenge is to rush in and get that mojo back okay to reignite that spark in this relationship okay because one person's already walked away could be you could be them yeah, see, the reason for the reading is the Page of Pentacles, okay? So there's there's someone who wants to offer an olive branch, okay? This is someone who wants to, who's waving the white flag. Like, you know what? Peace. I need a peaceful resolution right now. One person walked away. But now the other person wants a renewal in love, okay? And there's someone here who wants a peaceful resolution. There's someone here who's wanting to approach you with in a different way okay they want to approach you towards stability security okay but it's a page okay so someone very immature but it's a small start okay it's a small start towards stability which is good okay but the thing is you know what they're not rushing in you probably wanted this person like you know what eight of cups okay this is not one we need like one two three four so before you reach the eight ten of cups we go to the eight of cups okay you are just two cups away from the ten. So I feel you're walking away. You walked away from not this person. But there was a sense of insatisfaction as well. I mean, dissatisfaction, not insatisfaction. That's not even a word. There was a sense of discontentment within the situation. Maybe this person was not offering you what you wanted. Or maybe they were just not at the same page. Or at the same pace that you were in. Okay, And you walked away. And now this person wants to come in with an apology. With trying to get a peaceful resolution between you guys okay they want to put in the work they want to put in the action now yeah see in the past we have days of pentacles in the worst there was a missed opportunity or there was just a delay in a commitment okay again so i'm getting you wanted a commitment you wanted stability from this person and that's what this person was not doing okay like they were just not in that the night and the page okay again very mature energy okay someone the knight of wands is someone you know they like to live in the moment okay so that's your challenge you could be wanting the love and you could be dealing with someone who likes to live in the moment okay they like to take each day as it comes which is not a bad idea but if you've been in this relationship for a very long time which i see it is it's not a brand new relationship it's probably your ex or someone you've been dealing for a very long time right someone you've been wanting stability with and it's just not working out so yeah that's someone who's coming in okay and your reason for walking out is because you wanted things to move fast. Like, okay, we've been here for a while now. I mean, where do we go next? 
And this person is just taking baby steps or just not doing what they have to do. Okay. All right. We have the Ten of Swords in the near future. So I feel there is going to be an ending. Okay. I don't think there is an ending between you guys, but there is going to be an ending of a painful cycle. There could have been a cycle that is completely repeating itself again and again and again. Okay. Ten of Swords is also victim mentality. Okay. Someone who thinks that the worst has been done to them. Could be, okay, but at least I feel there is going to be an ending of a cycle is what I'm hearing, okay? I don't think something's ending between you guys. I think there's an ending of a cycle here. Something where you just feel backstab and betrayed. Or you're just going to stop stressing about this because whatever the situation is, right, it's frustrating you, okay? It's just too much for you. It's, it's way too much on you, okay? And you're finally going to end it and wanting to walk away from that situation. And the moment you do that, this person is coming in with, let's start again, please. The Page of Pentacles is not the best card in a love reading, okay, because it's a very, it's a very bland communication, you know, it's like, hey, what's up, like, what's the weather, like, how's the weather, and, you know, like, something, either you're being too logical and you're wanting to work this out, or then you're being too emotional and being romantic. This is in the middle, okay, this is like, is this why you called? You're not communicating with this person. Either you're not communicating with this person because you're walking away and that's why there's a lack of forward moment here, okay? Because there are chances you're feeling very backstab and betrayed because things just didn't did lift off in the past, okay? You're wanting things to rush in. You're wanting this person to rush in. You want this love. They want it probably too, but they're not doing what they need to do and you're walking away. That's why you're, you've stopped communicating. You're being non-communicative, okay? Things are not moving as fast as you want them to. That's what I'm hearing again and again. They're taking their own time. They're taking their own sweet time. Okay, no one's at, one person's in a rush here, the other person's not. Totally. That's why this is one of the, 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 the eight of wands in reverse here doesn't look like you don't want to communicate. It's like, you know what, I'm not happy with the pace that this is going. So this is like a control technique, okay? This is like a control tactic that this person is using or you're using to control the situation, okay? Like, I'm gonna stop communication, no communication if you've heard of, okay? To draw this person in. But the only thing when you're going to do that is, they're going to come in with a page of pentacles. They're still not coming in with something as, as a king, okay? It's still a page. This person's thinking a lot about the situation and there's just a lack of action. You're pissed off with this person. So you're like, you know what? I'm cutting communication. I am done. I'm fed up. I've had it. You know? See, again, I'm getting that you give this person a lot of chances to start moving forward, to start rushing in, okay? You wanted the arrival of something like, wait, now. And this person was just too slow. Too slow. Could be that you're walking away and loving yourself first, okay? It doesn't even have to be loving someone else or a renewal in love. Could be that now you're choosing to walk away and loving yourself first, okay? Because you wanted forward moment or you're just wanting to pursue what you're passionate about, okay? And that's why you're walking away. And the moment you walk away, this person wants to come in and offer you an olive branch because you tried your best to start something solid, something committed with this person and this person paid no heed to this, okay? Because you guys were just never really on the same page or too many people between you guys. You feel backstab and betrayed, you're cutting communication, you're fed up with this person and this person is just hanging there doing nothing, nothing at all. You're dealing with a very stubborn energy also, I, I'm getting. See, with the lovers in reverse, there's, there's a chance that there's a disconnection between you guys, okay? Again, I'm seeing someone who has fear of commitment or someone who's just not putting in enough work into a relationship, into the situation, which I'm getting again and again. That's why you're walking away. You're, you, it's like you've done your bit and this person needs to do their bit, okay? And you're fed up now. It's like I've given like a lot of chances and I'm done. I'm going to choose to love myself, okay? If you're not wanting to do this, if you're not rushing into this, if you're not passionate about this or you don't want to make this work out, I'm out. And that's what's happening here. I feel this is an end of a soulmate contract or the end of the road, okay, for you. Because you're pretty pissed off here. You're holding back completely. You, com Things have come to a complete halt okay with you because you're feeling very backstab and betrayed this is burdening you day by day by day you took one sword two sword three sword ultimately you took the tenth sword and this is the last nail on the coffin you're shutting the case i feel all right
everyone, that's what I have for you. Um, I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.